Well, it's a beautiful day here at Peace Street Garage, and uh, this is actually November, and I do live in Canada. Uh, I just had my Corvette out for a spin. It's absolutely fantastic. Of course, the leaves are off the trees, and it's almost winter, but beautiful day. So I had the convertible out today, and uh, somebody asked if I could show how the uh, convertible top comes down on this car. So I thought, uh, why not? So I'm going to do that now, and uh, I figure there'd be lots of information on a car like this and how to put the roof down. However, when I bought this car 11, 12 years ago, uh, I didn't know how to put the roof down, and there really was not much on it. So uh, I'm going to show this right now. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm in the car is... Uh, release the two latches that are in the front. So just put down your visor. There's one latch. Release the other visor. Here's the other latch and I release. Okay, and this takes a little bit of tension off of the roof. Now behind the back seat is the latch to release uh, the back of the roof. And there's two pins that are latched into this cover back here. One here and one on the other side, same place. So I'm just gonna grab behind the seat, there's a little detent here. Put the seat back and just reach underneath this uh, package tray or back dash, whatever you wanna call this. Right under here, there's a little release handle. And the reason why I didn't know how to put down my top when I bought this car is that this mechanism was missing. So I'm just going to gently pull on this because these uh, cables here, uh, I got these at, uh, I got this one at uh, Coastal Corvettes in Mims, Florida, and I got this used because they're pretty, pretty well impossible to find. So I'm going to release the two back pins. And I do this very gently because I don't want to snap my cable. You just pull the trigger back a little bit and uh, that releases both pins. So now that both pins are released, you can lift the back up like this. And then you gotta gently reach inside underneath this uh, tray here. There's a button underneath here. I'll show that in one second. So I'll push this button, that's electric. And that lifts up this lid. Okay, so now that this lid is lifted, I just dropped the roof back down just to show you. This is the button. This is how we release the trunk. This is electric. This is the mechanism that was missing off my car. Well, this mechanism was in place. The mechanism on the other side also was in place. What was missing on mine is this whole cable arrangement. And this is uh, the handle that activates. Sorry, I'll make it. I'll make this so you can see. This is what pulls. And this is how we release uh, these pins. These pins get latched into these holes and that's the handle we use to release this. So once we release, uh, this is free to come up. And, I, and when I put my, my back up, I like to sort of fold the glass like this so when it's stowed, it's kinda, it doesn't uh, develop too many wrinkles or creases. And this is the space down here where uh, the roof gets uh, folded. So again, my car didn't have any of this when I bought it. Now, mine had these little cheat... Uh, I see one on the, on the other side. You see the little cable hanging there? So I don't know if that's factory or if that's somebody added those, but there's little toggle cables on either side. And you could use those as a cheat to uh, release the mechanism. So once I discovered those, I was able to release uh, my roof. But before that, I had no idea. And back then, there was not much information online. I don't know about now. Uh, anyway, once this roof is like this, if we've released uh, our front latches, we should be able to lift this roof up and simply fold it into the back. 
So my roof is folded into the back. And take this lid and shut it. And there we go. The top is down. And that is how you put down the top on a C4 Corvette. Now to put the roof back up, exact same process, reverse order. Let's see if I can do this in one hand. Grab for my yellow button, release the lid, take my roof, see if I can do this with one hand. Bring my roof up, line the pins with the holes, just like that. Get this out of the way. Bring my lid down, excuse me, I'm doing this one handed. Lid is shut. Line these pins up with these holes. It's pretty self-aligning. Once they're sort of tentatively aligned. Latched. Okay, now let's go back inside the car. And here we are. These fell into place. I will lock this down. This one, it's very self-aligning. As you can see, it's pretty simple. I am doing this literally one-handed. Uh, but it is, it is all manual. But very easy to do. Of course, when you don't know, you don't know. And there it is. The top is back on, it's latched, it's secure. Uh, you can do it with the windows up or the windows down. Uh, makes no difference. I prefer to do it with the windows down. Uh, sometimes if I'm uh, in a tight garage like this one, uh, I get my body, my body gets in the way. I find it easier with the glass because the glass kind of curves up. Uh, I find it easier with the window down, but you could do it either way. And uh, that's how you put down the top and uh, put it back up on a uh, C4 Corvette. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.